Hello, welcome to Love of Stories. My name is Melinda. It is Wednesday and we spend our Wednesdays with Will. This is part of my The Bard Room project where I am reading through all of Shakespeare's plays. Here's my spiel. <laughs> uh, I do 10 plays a year. So I do one a month, but I don't do plays. Actually, I do nine plays a year starting next year. Uh, I don't do plays. I Well, I should, I take May and December off because those are busy months for me in my off camera life. Um, but we've also decided that on April, for the next two Aprils, we're going to, instead of doing a play, we're gonna focus on one of Shakespeare's longer poems. Uh, but on the other months, <laughs> we read a play. So what I have here is my coronation tea tin. And in this, I have all of Shakespeare's plays, minus the ones we've done, A Midsummer Night's Dream, because we have already decided we're gonna do that of June, and ne June of next year, and Henry the Sixth, parts two and three. Henry the Sixth, part one is in here. So once I pull Henry the Sixth, part one, Henry the Sixth, part two goes in, and you know that goes. And do this all in random order. And this is, we are drawing for the November play, which is actually the last play of 2024. So the last play of our first year. So let's see what I have pulled. It's right here. Oh, we got a big one. Not, not a super, not one of the super big ones, but a pretty big one. We have Othello. Now I have not read Othello, but I have seen Othello back on my summer term in England that I've talked about before. We did go see Twelfth Night Royal Shakespeare Company, but we also saw a number of like Shakespeare in the Park productions of different around different parts of England. And one of them was Othello. So I have seen Othello, but I have never read it. I quite liked Othello. Um, this is, if you can find the James Earl Jones version, that might be a nice tribute to watch. So this is the play that we are reading in, in November. If you would like to join us, you can join my Discord. Information is down below. On my Discord, there's a thread called The Bard Room, and that's where we talk about the Shakespeare plays. Um, you can also just comment on the videos, but you're gonna get a faster response on the Discord. If you wanna join us, but you're a little frustrated, here are some tips for reading Shakespeare. One, and this is what I do, and it really does help. Get an audiobook of the play and listen to it as you're reading it. And the reason this, this works, sometimes plays are hard to understand, and this is just an, makes it easier to understand. But also, Shakespeare was a funny guy, but not all of his humor has lasted 400 years. So if you listen to it, the actors who are who are doing this usually are very skilled and they know when something is supposed to be a joke and they can convey that through their voice so you, you get what you're supposed to get. Um, it has been very helpful, especially when I read like Love's Labor's Lost, which is a comedy where most of the comedy is stuff that has not aged. Not, not hasn't aged well. Like it's not like it's offensive. It just, it's not funny. It's like not even in our sense of humor. So that really helped. Um, I will say Shakespeare gets easier the more you read it. That That is something that I have experienced. But you could also, there's nothing wrong with um, watching a production of it first. You can, most Shakespeare plays there are film productions of, you can get them if you don't have a streaming service that has it. You know, just go on your streaming services and search the play and see what comes up. But also your library should have copies of it, of a, of a play. I think most of like the Royal Shakespeare Company has. Um, on Broadway HD, which is one of the streaming services that I have. They have the um, a lot of the plays from the Stratford Festival in Canada. And then on Marquee, another one I have, they have the RSC. Um, so I usually have, you know, a selection to choose from. Um, there's nothing wrong with watching the play first. Uh, the one thing I would advise about that is sometimes slight modifications are made to the play, especially if you see a movie version of it, then sometimes they really change it. But the plays are usually pretty close, so they might tweak things now and then. Um, and there's nothing wrong with just watching the play. I'm not going to send the Shakespeare police after you. But anyway, there you go. So this Othello is what we're reading in November. And uh, if you'd like to join us, please just join my Discord down below. And I'll see you next time. Next week, I will be here with my thoughts on The Tempest, which is our play for October. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.